Hey what's up, this is Rob from Panther. Today I want to show you some secret magic stuff, um, secret options with the direct selection tool and what it can do. And yeah, let's uh, make a rectangle. It's right here, located right here. Uh, let's select the direct selection tool from here. And you know you can make this round, alright? You can round the corners. Now this thing has another stuff. A hidden element you just double click on the circle where you pull this you know you just double click on it and you can have multiple options here for example this won't work but uh, that's as you can see this thing is pulling inwards right now it's just doing it in the vice versa I gotta do the same thing with this because it looks pretty nice and of course you can do another stuff another trick you already know um, so basically first you need to pull it and then you double click it okay and uh, wait actually I want to do it with this one and this one I'm gonna make it straight like this same thing with this the only problem is that this is working manually I mean you need to make it one by one and you can type your name in there. So yeah, it's really basic, but uh, you need to really be creative, like what to do with these things. So uh, another very int interesting stuff. I'm gonna create a new rectangle. Let me repaint this. And here you got the transform. You got the options of the square. If you don't have the transform then go to windows and select transform uh, here also you can see the options related to the uh, you know related to the corners you can uh, make it manually here you just scroll it and uh, it makes it manually uh, you also can change the shapes so right now I'm scrolling it and for example on the left top I can change it on the right top same thing you can do it manually you can change it however you want it and uh, scroll it scroll more uh, you also can uh, deconnect this link corner and this way you can uh, do it separately you know separate uh, numbers okay uh, here you can uh, scale up and scale down the you know rectangle portions and if I click on the link to unlink it you basically can scale it up or you know I mean make it wide and make it more tall so yeah and of course here are the other options which probably you already familiar but these are the tricks you know related to these, uh, these fancy stuff um, also there's like another option so basically I try to pull this in to make it round, okay? I double click on this and here I select this one. And it's gonna change the um, profile, how it's gonna make it more rounder. As you can see this one is different. I'm gonna create another one. Just a sec. I'm gonna try to tra change the profile I don't know if it's gonna change it it's gonna change it so this one is like too cut off it looks like more unnatural this one looks more natural but uh, still not the perfect method because I would go even more taller but anyways it's uh, almost there So the same thing applies to every each, but the thing is like uh, it edits these like separately, which is interesting. Oh no, actually it uh, edited like all of them. So yeah, it's pretty nice. Uh, the idea is pretty nice, the concept. And mainly this was it. Eventually I'm gonna pull this also to look more cute. There you go. All right, so this is it. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new on the channel. Uh, yeah, hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and check out the other videos as well. Have a good one. Bye bye.